Since the 1950s, thousands of South Asian leaders have seized the opportunity to further their knowledge at Australian universities through prestigious Australia Awards scholarships. Their new knowledge and skills are improving countless lives in their home countries. In the country famous for gross national happiness, having dedicated forensic experts investigate a crime scene was, until fairly recently, unheard of. Today, the Timpu Police Station Forensic Unit is out in full force to find evidence about who stole this taxi at gunpoint. This is one of the units set up in each of the country's 36 police stations. They, like the other units, have been trained and equipped to properly collect, handle and transport forensic evidence. This is largely thanks to the initiative and drive of Major Lobsung, the Head of Forensics at the Royal Bhutan Police Force. I had a fascination for forensic services and I was a bit interested in how science was being used in delivery of justice. Major Lobsung was able to pursue his passion further than he ever imagined when he won a prestigious Australia Awards scholarship to study DNA technology at Flinders University in South Australia. When he returned in 2004, Bhutan's criminal justice system still relied heavily on testimonies. And as we all know that testimonies are very subjective and there was always this question mark Bringing objective evidence into picture uh, really supplements and complements the testimonial evidence and ensure the prosecution, detection and investigation process is beyond reasonable doubt. So we set off with uh, starting of forensic services units in each and every police station. And subsequently, uh, we also built capacity of over 50 police personnel and give them training on basics of forensic science. Having trained this national cadre, Major Lobsung led the setup of a small forensic science laboratory at police headquarters to carry out basic examinations. But for more complicated analysis, evidence has to be sent abroad. During the investigation of a recent murder case, Major Lobsung's lasting connections with Australia meant that evidence was rapidly analysed at the Forensic Science Centre in South Australia. So within about a week or two, we got a result. The blood found on the suspect's t-shirt matched with that of, a, uh, that of a deceased. He was convicted for the murder. Often though, evidence sent abroad takes months to be processed, holding up serious legal proceedings in Bhutan. Having seen the value of a dedicated forensic service, the government is now committed to building Bhutan's first National Forensic Science Laboratory. In recognition of what he has achieved, Major Lobsung was recently awarded a prestigious National Service Medal. But for the Major, the greater rewards lie elsewhere. As a forensic person, if I go into a prison and somebody says I was innocently convicted, that would be the worst nightmare in my personal view. And this was exactly the scenario he faced on a recent case. A young student had been arrested on the charge of involuntary manslaughter. The evening before, he had been driving home late after a party with a friend when they had an accident. The next morning, his friend was found dead next to a sewer. The tangible evidence revealed that the two had parted company and later one had slipped and fallen into the sewer, where he tragically died in the early hours of the morning. The student held in custody was acquitted and is now back at college. I think the most rewarding part is that I could make a small contribution towards strengthening the criminal justice system. Since Australia started its program of support to Bhutan in the late 1960s, hundreds of leaders like Major Lobsung have gained valuable knowledge and connections through the scholarship program. And in the case of strengthening Bhutan's criminal justice system, the Forensic Science Service is right on target.